Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to replace Siri with ChatGPT on your iPhone running iOS 18.1 even though you might not have a device that supports the new Apple intelligence features. As you probably know by now, Apple has introduced the first set of Apple intelligence features but they will be available only to the iPhone 16s and also the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. And also the integration with ChatGPT, which will come later on this year with 18.2, that's of course also exclusive to these devices. But in this video, I will show you guys a simple trick that you can do in order to use ChatGPT instead of Siri on your iPhone with iOS 18.1. And it's actually very simple to do. Just follow a few simple steps. The first thing you wanna do is of course, install the ChatGPT app from the App Store. It is free to download, so go ahead and download that. And the next thing you need to download is this shortcut right here, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have these two things, you're basically ready to go. Now, what this shortcut will do is that it will instantly basically start here a conversation with ChatGPT, a voice conversation, which is really awesome. Now you can end it right there and you can start typing if you want to, or you can also create another shortcut, which allows to just type to, ch to ChatGPT. You can do that by tapping here and then just search for ChatGPT, and then we have start a conversation with ChatGPT, so you can use either one of these. Whether you wanna do the voice one, or you just wanna type, just like typing to Siri, you can basically use any one you want. Now to set these up so that you have quick access to them, you will have a few different ways. On iOS 18, one thing that I prefer that you can do, instead of using the hey word for Siri, you can actually use a word for ChatGPT and you can do that easily by going under the accessibility settings and then go ahead and find here vocal shortcuts. When you go here, enable vocal shortcuts and tap on add action. Once you do this, tap on continue and then go ahead and search for your shortcuts right here. Search the shortcuts you just created or downloaded there. So we will have the start conversation with ChatGPT or start voice conversation with ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and select this. And now you need to type here a phrase that you will use to actually invoke ChatGPT, just like you do the hey word for Siri. So let's just type here chat and then tap right here the go button and you will need to say the word here three times chat, chat, chat. And once you say the word three times, then it's ready to go. So now from anywhere on your device, all you have to do is just say the word in order to invoke ChatGPT on your device. Chat. And as you can see, as easy as that, I'm into ChatGPT here and we're having a voice conversation with ChatGPT. It's actually as easy as that. Another method you can use is the back tap. You can use this, of course, to invoke ChatGPT, whether you want to do a conversation, voice conversation, or type. You can just go and under the accessibility settings, go to touch right there. And then, of course, you can just go ahead and go to back tap right here, choose double tap or triple tap, whichever one you want. And from here, just make sure you go to the shortcut section and you find the shortcut right there. Now you can also set it up on your lock screen or even the control center. So on the lock screen, you just go here to the edit mode and tap on customize. You go here, remove that one or this one, whichever one you want. Search for shortcuts right here. So there we have the shortcuts, tap on shortcut, and all you have to do is again, just choose the shortcut right there, the shortcut we just created. So there we go, we can now start a conversation with ChatGPT, as easy as that, tap done, and right there we have ChatGPT on our lock screen as quick as that. Of course, you can even add it as an icon to your home screen simply by going to the shortcuts right here, tap the share button, and you can go ahead and add it to your home screen just like that, you can of course start a conversation even from here, so as easy as that. So these are a few different methods which you can use to replace Siri with ChatGPT on your iPhone, of course, if you don't have the new Apple intelligence features on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Of course, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.